So now I'm going to show you how to do the third question on the quiz, on quiz for chapter five. Um, this one is I want to save for a vacation. My plan is to put $125 each month into an ordinary annuity that earns an interest rate of 3% for the next three years. And what the question is, is how much will be in the account at the end of the time period? So the first thing I need to do is I need to go get that formula. So I'm going to go into the book and I'm going to look up what is the um, savings formula. So I find from my book that the savings formula is that the future value is equal to the payment times one plus R over N to the NT minus one, all over top of R over N. So that's my formula. And again, what I like to do is I like to write down what everything stands for, my, uh, my F, all my values I have in here, my payment, my R, my N, and my T. Those are all the different letters I'm gonna have in here. Um, and then I just try to figure out what things are. I wanna save for a vacation. I plan to put $125 away each month. So that is my payment. So my payment is 125. I'm into an ordinary annuity. So that's what told me to use this formula. Um, it earns an interest rate of 3%. So I'm gonna change that over to 0.03 um, for the next three years. So my time is three. And since I'm told I'm doing it every month, my N is 12 because it's 12 months in a year. I noticed my future value is what I don't know. It's the only letter I don't have something for. And I kind of want to know how much will I have at the end of these three years. So my question is how much will I have? That is going to be my future value. So now I can take out my formula and, my, and put my values in. My 125, my one plus R, which is 0 0.03 over top of N, which is 12. 12 times three minus one, all over 0 0.03 divided by 12. So now I'm gonna take out my calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and clear things out just so you can see things a little bit better. Okay. So I'm starting with my 125 times parenthesis. I have this big parenthesis here and then I do another parenthesis one plus 0 0.03 divided by 12, raise that. And again, if, you're, if your calculator doesn't put you up in the exponent, if it just puts a little carrot there, you'll need to put a parenthesis and do 12 times three. Since mine put me in the exponent, I can just do 12 times three there. I then need to come out of the exponent and then do my minus one. Then that is my numerator. And I forgot to put that in parentheses, but it's okay. Because I'm going to divide that by my denominator. If I do my, my denominator in parentheses, 0 0.03 divided by 12. And so I'm finding out that in three years, I'm going to have $4,702.57. Um, technically, uh, you want to always round down on these, even though normally you would round down. But here, you're trying to find how much money you're going to have. So this extra cents here stays with the bank, does not get to go to you. You'll be winding down. So usually on savings accounts, they round down. On things you owe, they round up. But I get that value now. And so that's how much money I'll have in there. I can also use the TVM solver. So if I go into apps and into finance and into TVM solver, I can put my N in. Again, my N is the 12 times my three. If you don't know that that's 36, you can just type in 12 times three to get to 36. I then need to put my interest rate in, which was three. My present value, I didn't put money away yet. There's nothing in there. So my present value is zero. My payment is $125. I'm doing 12 payments a year and I'm getting 12 compounding periods a year. I want to know my future value. So I go up to my future value. You don't need to clear this out. If you want to, you can. I can just now hit the alpha button and the enter button to get the solve. And I'll solve and give me the same value. 
it's negative because I should have put in a negative payment, then this would be positive. But it's mostly important is you get the same value there. So if you don't like that negative sign, you could actually have done this as negative 125. And then you now will get a positive answer there. And notice we get the same answer we got when we did it. If you don't have the calculator, you can use a TVM solver online. So again, you can just search for a TVM solver. I'm gonna reset this. So I'm just gonna hit the reset that value. My present value is zero. My payments are minus 125. My future value is what I wanna find. My interest rate is 3%. My periods are, there's 12 times three, which is 36. And we're gonna compound um, monthly. That's right, this was compounding monthly because it was 12. I'm gonna go back up to future value. I'm gonna ask it to find my future value. Notice we get the same value we got with the formula and with the calculator. So that's how much you would have there. There's more to this question. So first off, what you wanna do is ask yourself, does this make sense? Um, so you wanna think about if you just put the $125 away and didn't put it in your checking account, but put it in your mattress, then you would have in your account um, 125 or in your mattress, I should say, 125 times three years times 12 months. So you get $4,500. So it does make sense. $4,700 is not way off of there. If you got 4 million, there's probably a problem with your, your calculations. If you got 40, there's probably a problem with your calculations. 45 seems to make sense. So you wanna kind of make sure your answer makes sense. Um, then the next question actually asks you, what is the sum of all of the deposits? In other words, how much did you put in there? Which is what I just kind of answered. So how much I put in there without getting any kind of money at all is what I just calculated, where I just did the 125 times three times 12. So again, that's as if you didn't get any interest, you would have your 125 times your three years, times your 12 months, which gives you $4,500. And then the question is gonna ask you how much you're gonna make an in interest. Well, this is how much I put in there. So anything left over is how much the bank gave me. So the bank gave me my 4702 and 57 cents. I put in 4,500. So how much is interest would be subtracting those two numbers. So I just take out my calculator and type in 4702.57 and then subtract off my 4,500. So I'm gonna get $202.57 just for giving the money to my bank for two years.